Has anyone ever told you that you look like your mom? Or maybe they said you had your grandfather's eyes or your father's hair. Your traits are determined by the genes that you inherited from your parents. We call the study of genes and how they are passed from parent to offspring genetics. Before we start investigating how your genes determine your traits, there are several things that you need to know. You already know that organisms inherit genes from their parents. You also know that you don't look and act exactly like your parents. This is because not all genes are the same. In fact, there are often several different forms of genes. These different forms of a gene are called alleles. For example, all humans have genes that determine if they are able to roll their tongue or not. There are two forms of the tongue rolling gene. Let's call the first form tongue rolling allele A. This form of the gene allows a person to roll their tongue. The second form or allele of the tongue rolling gene we will call tongue rolling allele B. This allele does not allow a person to roll their tongue. You inherited one tongue rolling allele from each of your parents. Together, these alleles determine if you can roll your tongue or not. It turns out that some alleles are dominant and some alleles are recessive. A dominant allele will overpower a recessive allele, but what exactly does that mean? So let's go back to our tongue rolling example. In humans, tongue rolling is a dominant trait. Not being able to tongue roll is a recessive trait. In genetics, we represent dominant alleles using a capital letter and we represent recessive alleles with a lowercase letter. So if you are a tongue roller, then you could have inherited a big R from each parent or you could have inherited a big R from one parent and a little r from the other parent and you would still be a tongue roller and that is because that big R again is dominant over the little r. If you are a non-tongue roller then you must have inherited a little r allele from each parent. Now let's go ahead and define two more vocabulary words that are going to be important as you investigate the inheritance of traits. The first word is phenotype. The phenotype that you have for a particular trait is what you look like. So if you have a big R and a big R for tongue rolling or a big R and a little r, we know you're a tongue roller. So your phenotype would be tongue roller. If you inherited two little r's, then we know that you are a non-tongue roller, so your phenotype would be a non-tongue roller. The second vocabulary word that you need to know is genotype. The genotype is basically what do the alleles say. So in our tongue rolling example, there are three different genotypes. Big E, Big E would be genotype one. Big E, Little E would be genotype two and little e, little e would be genotype 3. Let's take a minute or so here and take a look at a couple other genetic traits that you have inherited from your parents. It may be helpful at this point to pause the video as you take a look at these other examples of traits. Well, that wraps it up for tonight's mini lesson on inheritance of traits. In, over the next couple days in class, you will be doing a series of activities to investigate this whole idea of alleles and genotypes and phenotypes a little bit further. Created using Powtoon.